This is Cyber Defense Exercise Locked Shields 2012, where computer specialists and legal advisors from several different nations have gathered together to improve cyber defense capabilities. More than 200 participants, based in several European countries, trained together to enhance situational awareness and defense skills. Red teams attack the vulnerabilities of the blue teams. Blue teams endeavor to defend their networks from attacks while maintaining services to their customers. White and green teams try to maintain situational awareness and give technical support. The nerve center of the exercise is at the NATO Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellence in Tallinn, Estonia. We use various attack methods, so we use a lot of client-side attacks, which also occurs in real life. Uh, just some regular user clicks on, on a link, infected, infects a workstation, and then the attack will spread further from there. We also do a lot of direct attacks, so uh, we attack machines in DMZ directly via web exploits, via operating system or network problems. Uh, so it's a combination of all the various kinds of things that you can see in real life outside in real world as well. The blue teams uh, have generally started as, uh, as they have been taught in the, in the school. So they are blocking the, the traffic with uh, firewalls and then patching their systems and in installing the, the antiviruses. Usually in, in cyber attacks, the most uh, hardest thing is to detect the attacks. And uh, some attacks, they are really, sp really missing. If they understand uh, what is happening around, then they are, uh, the, then they are responding uh, right away. To put together different countries is always a challenge because yeah, every, every individual from different cultures may work different, may have different experience, different skills, different language skills also. So it's very good training for our future missions. The name Lock Shields actually refers to a very old military uh, history piece. And the problem with the shield is it protects your left side but your right side is unprotected. Now, if you have many men next to each other, your left is protected by your own shield, but it also protects the right of the next guy. And the guy to your right protects you with his shield. So if you lock these shields, it forms an impenetrable shield wall, so to say. And um, this is what we wanted to convey with this uh, message, that we have to work together, we have to lock our shields and uh, protect each other.